Texas is now one step closer this morning to not having a state sales tax on diapers, on baby wipes and feminine products, as we mentioned earlier in the program. It's State Rep Donna Howard, though, who has tried for years to get this passed. She's a Democrat who represents Austin. And what's so significant here is that Howard has tried four different sessions for well, almost a decade without any luck here. Representative, good morning to you. Welcome to the program. You've tried for, I believe, six or seven years to try to get some version of this passed. How did you finally do it? Well, actually, this is my fourth session to file some version of, of this legislation. Um, I've been focused primarily on period products and diapers. This session, uh, the speaker decided to pull together a variety of pieces of legislation that could help families, and especially women and children. Um, so he asked me to carry this bill that actually consolidated several members' bills. Um, and I, I was delighted to be able to do that and have that kind of leadership support for it, uh, bipartisan support. I know that Senator Huffman has indicated she's supportive and is carrying the bill on the, on the Senate side. The governor has indicated his support. So this time it looks like it's actually going to happen. Well, any idea why you think the speaker reached out to you? Because you tried multiple times to get this done. And how surprising was that? <laughs> it was surprising, yes. Um, I think that there were some indications before this session started that there was going to be more of an effort to focus on helping moms and babies and families as a result of, of some of the legislation that happened last time and the overturning of Roe v. Wade. Uh, there was... I would think a real desire on the part of leadership to show we indeed are going to be supporting moms and babies. And this was one of the obvious ways to do that. Uh, so I, since I have been carrying the legislation for so many years, uh, the speaker, I think, uh, recognized that this was something that I had been working on. And I was very grateful that he asked me to carry this. You mentioned that Governor Abbott and both Lieutenant Governor uh, Dan Patrick both support this. Yes. Uh, it sounds like it will survive the Senate, obviously, and get signed into law. How significant are these tax savings for, for uh, women and for families in Texas? Well, you know, in the greater scheme of things, of course, uh, we're talking about pennies uh, in terms of on the dollar. But at the same time, that adds up over time, especially for hardworking families that are, you know, living paycheck to paycheck, who have babies who need to take care of their families. And I know the diaper banks have indicated that the savings that we could accrue here from uh, not having a sales tax on these products, for diapers in particular, uh, over the course of, of, of a year, you could buy an extra month's worth of diapers with what you saved. So it's not insignificant. Uh, and with all the other uh, products added to this, it actually can make a difference. And uh, you know, put, put a tank of gas in the car to get to work. Uh, a couple of more meals on the table. It, it can make a real difference in the lives of some Texans. Congratulations on the uh, passage of that bill, and we appreciate your time. Thank you so much.